Welcome once again to Digi Reviews Everything in His Office. Today we're going to talk about the most important piece of equipment that I own. The Gorillapod. This is what I film everything with. And nothing has ever been greater than this. This $30 piece of equipment has radically changed the way that I film everything. And if you do content like what I do, or even if you just film shit on your phone ever for any reason, um, buy one of these. They're fucking amazing. So, uh, a Gorillapod is just a tripod with fully posable legs that you can very easily manipulate. And you can just attach it onto fucking anything. Here, watch. Boom. This is now a tripod. Let's say I want to film a vlog here on the couch. Don't feel like getting out of a proper tripod. I got this. You just turn this little dial and you can, you know, move it around. It's on a ball. And uh, now it's aiming straight and correct. Um, it's even got a little level on it. Now this top piece, this did not come with the, the Gorilla Pod. Um, because the Gorilla Pod just has like a standard, you know, um, it's got this it's got this piece, this little uh tripod piece that's got a screw on the bottom. And you're meant to be able to put like a, you know, whatever kind of tripod head you want on there. I mean, with a normal camera, it would just screw right into that screw, that screw right there. That should be able to screw into the bottom of a camera. But I do all my filming on a cell phone. So, I separately purchased a smaller version of this, a tiny gorilla pod that was made for cell phones, and I took the headpiece off of it and attached it to my bigger gorilla pod. Um so that's what this is. This this is from a like cheap ass cell phone gorilla pod that I uh that I got at Target. Um this headpiece incidentally is pretty fucked up. Um this 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 part's always coming off uh, the phone falls out of it sometimes, because just the, everything about it's, like, a little fucky. Just because, um, you know, I've been using it for well over a year, and, um, it was a $7 tripod, so, like, it's not surprising that it's kind of falling apart. Whereas the Gorillapod is amazing that it's held together so well. Like, this thing has shown no wear and tear whatsoever. It is still in the exact condition it was in when I bought it. It functions fucking incredibly. Just the fact that you can turn this headpiece means you can literally attach this to any... Sort. Like, you can hang it fucking sideways and just turn the headpiece. Like, see that how there's, like, this little hole right here? Pop it up in that. Hold on. Ah, there you go. Fully diagonal. Hang this from a fence or something. It's, it's impossibly good. And, um... Yeah, be again, because you can attach it to anything, there's really no need for a, like, full-on tripod unless you were doing professional film work, which I am not. I'm just filming shit in my room, you know? Like, this will suit every need I could possibly have. And I've attached it to everything. I've just put it, like, on top of surfaces, hung it from surfaces, put it on the back of my chair. I do that pretty often. Like, if you watch something like... Um, you know, stuff that's filmed at this angle, where it's me and May sitting on the couch reviewing anime. The, the thing is often just right there. But what I do with it the most often is attach it to an actual tripod. I have this uh, absolute piece of garbage. This was like a $15 plastic-ass tripod that was just in my house. It's, I, I don't know where it came from. One of my brothers, I think, bought it or something. It's like their baby's first tripod. Immediately needed replacing because it's so plastic and shitty that, like, you know, it just falls. Like, it's very easy to knock over. But, you know, it's got three different levels of, uh, of articulation. So you can, you, can make it, you can make it yay tall or yay tall or whatever. And then also you can... Um, unscrew this part and lift it just a little if you need, you know, if you need something more precise. But, um, I just kind of put the gorilla pod on top of it. Shit. This is really hard to do with one hand. Uh, you know, I just put this on top and clamp it on there. And, uh, voila, now I've got a tripod that's highly portable. 
and I usually just keep it on there, move it around the room. You know, if I'm filming Manga Mondays, it's just this. And here I am in the chair next to the, uh, you know, next to the manga shelf. And then this is filming me just like that, um, you know, but aimed, aimed down at me. And this is why all of this, um, you know, I felt like I, I should have talked about this more in, uh, in the beginning of this series, why I think it's important to talk about my setup and, um, God, I just had my hand over where the mic is, so I'm sure that sounded like dog shit for a second. Why it's so important um, to show off the specific tools I use is that I my job would not be possible if I didn't have the exact setup I have because what I consider my job is human content machine, like putting out stuff absolutely constantly. And the reason that I have an easy time doing that is that everything is set up so I can just go. I can just grab and go. When I want to make a Manga Mondays video, I've just got this here and I just slip a camera onto it, sit down and hit record and I'm just good. You know, it's so easy to get the shot with this thing because it literally is just like attach this fucking thing to whatever surface you want and all of the angling is just like this. You just move this Get the precise angle you want and tighten it and you're fucking done. That's the whole setup. You know, the microphone, just move it around the room to wherever and hit record and you're fucking good to go. So yeah, that's why, that's why I want to show people this stuff. Um, cause it inspires a lot more creativity when I have like, like I make things based on what I have a lot of the time. Like maybe I'll say, Hmm, I've got this stack of. Uh, DVDs, so let me think of a series that utilizes the way these are stacked, you know, like knowing what equipment you have can really help you to think of like what can I do. Before I had this Gorillapod, um, oftentimes my filming was limited to like where can I fit the tripod? Like, like let's say I wanted to stand right in front of that bookcase, but there's a, there's a couch here, you know, like I can't really put the tripod here. I guess I could put it on the couch, but, uh, you know, it's going to be real fucking unstable. Uh, I mean, I guess that looks like it will work. But you get my point. Something's in the way, but this Gorillapod, because it can attach to any surface, it's how I've gotten some really weird shots in some of my videos. Um, like some of the insomnia analysis and shit like that. Like, hey, look, let's just attach it to the TV. Now I could film myself, uh, you know, filming outward that way. And uh, you, you get the point. I think you get the point. It's the best piece of equipment I own. I cannot recommend it enough. If you need, if for any reason you need a tripod um, for a quick, easy filming. Also, it's a great stabilizer because you can hold it like this and just walk around with it. And it makes it so you're not holding a shaky ass. Like, you, if you're noticing that this video is shakier than the others, it's because I'm holding the camera with my hand because I can't use this thing. But uh, the way I've been filming all of these is I just carry this around with the camera attached to it. You know, like normally I would just aim this at whatever I'm filming. Very easy to maneuver. It's very easy to turn around so you can switch from filming yourself to filming the subject matter in like a flash. Um... You know, I picked up this technique because of Casey Neistat, very famous vlogger who extensively uses Gorillapods, and um, I've seen it around a lot. Like, I've seen a lot of vloggers doing it, uh, assumably because of his influence. So, yeah. Um, again, uh, as always, there should be an Amazon Associates link. If you are going to buy this, then please use that link so I can make money off of it. Um, hopefully I've remembered to do that because I still haven't actually done that yet at the time of this recording. Peace.